way for western New York. Meteorologist Don Paul tracking it all with your 7 First Alert Most Accurate Forecast. Don. And Hannah, it's going to be a drawn out event, which has its good aspects and bad aspects. Good aspects uh, within this storm is that we are not likely to have heavy rates of snowfall for much of the time that the snow is coming down. That is manageable, visibility reduced, but not that much in the way of blinding conditions. Let's uh, check out how the skies looked around here today. Our sky cam time lapse had some snow showers this morning. By the way, the drive home last night up the 190 north to the 290 east just awful. The roads were awful, had not been treated. Still had some snow showers this afternoon. Uh, very fine light flakes, so the roads are okay and will stay that way tonight. Uh, currently at the airport, 21, and uh, that's our high for the day. The average high this time of the year is 40 or 41. There is just enough of a breeze, so there's a bit of a wind chill. That breeze will be fairly light tonight. Here are my snowfall projections for western New York, and uh, the elements we're looking at, first of all, there's the model many of you have heard of, the European model, is going for higher numbers than moi. Uh, I'm being a little more conservative. I've taken the numbers down a little bit, so let's break it down. This is based on a general non-lake effect snow, but during Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night, there will be some Lake Ontario lake enhancement of the widespread non-lake effect snow. So there could be some stripes of locally heavier amounts than what I'm showing here. But in general, by Wednesday afternoon on the Chautauqua Ridge, not so much at Dunkirk, a little less at Dunkirk, Fredonia, 10 to 14 inches up to a foot near Ellicottville, closer to the coastal storm, 10 to 14 inches in Allegheny County. And then we move up north and for the city, I'm expecting about eight or nine, could be as little as six, but manageable. Uh, not a paralyzing storm out to the thruway toward Batavia 8 to 11 heaviest amounts could again be found with lake enhancement in Orleans County less around Niagara Falls and Wheatfield more in Middleport more in Orleans County west to east gradient so it will be manageable it's going to have significant impacts Tuesday morning slippery by the Tuesday afternoon commute, travel becomes trickier than that. Let's take a look at the current conditions. Arctic high pressure in place. We're cold. That is the snow that will begin to arrive here mid and late afternoon tomorrow and become more widespread tomorrow night. Still a few lake effect snow showers out there. Temperatures in the low 20s on the Niagara frontier and in the teens in the southern tier. And uh, we'll have a pretty cold night, but the winds at least will be light. Let's go through your hour by hour forecast. Couple of flurries this evening. Tomorrow, patchy light snow arrives later in the day widespread tomorrow night about two inches for the morning commute on the ground widespread snow during the day with an increasing breeze making for uh, tricky travel all over West New York blowing snow more serious near Lake Ontario and then it does wind down during Wednesday afternoon in my estimation 11 for a low flurries ending 5 to 10 mile an hour breeze single numbers valleys 25 tomorrow patchy light snow especially later in the day at the end of the day the breeze picks up cold breeze widespread snow tomorrow night about two inches on the ground for the morning commute on Tuesday on Tuesday the impact increases 26 two to five inches during the day another three to five at night Blowing snow more serious near Lake Ontario, uh, but around metro area we'll be looking at non whiteout blowing snow, definitely slow travel. Wednesday, the snow winding down to snow showers, still windy and cold. Improvement on Thursday, and then a weaker system impacts us Saturday, and uh, parade day next week looks cold and breezy but not frigid we've had some of them yeah and we've had 70 degree weather too so Once, yeah <laughs> oh boy here we go again with the snow all right Tom. thank you well selection sunday the ncaa tournament coming to buffalo we've got the matchups and make it one for the thumb williamsville north are ice kings we've got highlights coming